A very good morning. You're watching News Nine with me, Deepak Bopuna. And first up, government land is subjected to encroachment than development. In a similar situation, underdeveloped land allotted to a silk farm in Dudbalapur has been encroached. Take a look. This is the government land allotted to silk farmers. In 1976, the government allotted 52 acres of land to help silk farmers in Dudbalapur and Tumkur districts. Ironically, this land was left vacant ever since then. The only development that took place was the digging of a bore well and construction of a fence to demarcate the land. But this demarcation has also been destroyed. A retired police officer, Ranganath from Nelamangala, has allegedly trespassed the land and he claims this land to be his. It is said that he has destroyed the fencing and has cultivated the land. <laughs> Ranganath, however, claims that he inherited the land from his mother and hence it belongs to him. The villagers are protesting against Ranganath. They are opposing Ranganath who has decided to sell the land for big bucks. Ranganath is backed by the income tax department who have not taken any action even after constant complaints from the villagers. The villagers are pleading for justice and they want the issue to be solved at the earliest. Manjay Gowda, News 9, Devanahalli. A heavy rain in Maharashtra has affected villages in Bagalkot and farmers are bearing the brunt. Take a look. Heavy rain in the Maharashtra-Karnataka border region has resulted in the Koina Dam in Maharashtra overflowing. This has led to the Krishna River flooding and destroying villages nearby. The release of water from the dam has washed off sugarcane and corn maize crops of farmers living in Kajagala, Kamadatta, Kangalathat and other surrounding villages. Anadinna village in Bagalkot district has been affected the most. There is a serious threat of flooding to other villages as well. The district administration has failed to perform its duty by not establishing a rehab center, though plots have already been allotted. As of now, no work has been initiated in this regard. The district administration has appointed nodal officers at villages which are likely to face this problem. Krishna Nadiya Pawadandagi, Jamukandi Taluk Nali, Baditua Gramal Sinkai Patro, Adriti Brigi Taluk Nali, Ayil Gramal Gay, Pernama, Hidical Jalasha, Hedda Provadanda, Provanta, Ayeno Nere. Farmers prayed for rain and when it did arrive, it did not bring them relief but only wars. Suresh Nayak, News 9, Bagal Court. Now, if you are planning on postponing your trip to the vegetable market because of the soaring prices, here's some good news for you. The onset of the monsoon had spelled bad news for the common man as he uncertain whether these past few weeks had caused veggie prices to touch the skies. But now that the monsoon has set in, prices have come down. Beans, which was 64 rupees, is now selling at 48 rupees. Tomatoes, which cost 74 rupees, are now selling at 56 rupees. Onion prices have come down from 37 rupees to 35 rupees, while that of carrots has come down from 78 rupees to 72 rupees. Green chilies, which cost 66 rupees, are now selling at 47 rupees, 
while coriander which cost 54 rupees is now selling at 48 rupees bitter gourd has dropped by 3 rupees from 47 to 44 rupees while green peas which cost 119 now cost 104 rupees the drop in prices has not only brought relief to the common man but also spelt good news for vegetable vendors many were complaining that they had lost business when the prices shot up the rates are expected to remain stable despite ramzan celebrations and surprisingly the prices of fruits too have stabilized sopa beans sala kadme agide tomato sopa jaasti ide mikki ella sopa kore aa ee vara paravagilla kadme agide ella tarkari sopa bile kadme kothmiri sopa antu thumba cheap agutide kadme aagle beku illinda hogide alli vapas bartade only thing andre late monsoon aagtittu adra karana hing agide ee aagtirilla usually enagutte antandre at the end of summer ट्रांसिशन अंत बेसिक कल मुगत मागाल शुरुआत मध्य ग्यापल आलवे यू प्रति वर्ष सो सारी ऐन आ गैप मुंदूडू दिपार्टेंटेटर Now the sale of labosa poison is still not stopped in North Karnataka. Now in the name of tea, labosa company has been selling poison. Now it was against the same company that the government registered a case, but the sale of tea powder has still not stopped. Take a look. It was on July 16th that News 9 first exposed how labosa tea was selling poison in the name of tea. Colton dye, a cancer-causing ingredient, was being used to color the tea. After a report was aired on your channel. Gadag authorities immediately sent the samples to three labs. Allegations of poisonous content were confirmed by government and private laboratories. Later, the Food and Safety Department filed a legal suit against the company owners, Lobasa Kabadi, Manjunath Kabadi, and Nagraj Kabadi on April 25th this year. DMFC first class court nelli nayale nelli pur arup idhar mile mukadde modalo na nagan mati kotor. Adhe prakar na u nayale nelli ipattai idu na koyar sorda adna akrandu. ना केस दाखले कंपनी मालिक मंजुनाथ नारायण सा कबाडी ना मंज ना नाग नागर मंजुनाथ नागर नारायण सा कबाडी लोबस नागर नारायण सा कबाडी मूर् मंदी अदर मालिक पार्टनर इवर मेले ना न्यायालय मुकदमे हड़ी अब हिरी नीवेस्टिगेशन Even after the case, the company has not stopped mixing the poisonous colt and dye. What is shocking is the sales of labosa tea continues as usual. Labosa cha pudi anna. Sarkar thoru mutto kala haki mundhen din managalle. Idu market nali irde irta kanta kramana sarkar jarugus beko. Idhe riti y labosa anu anta cha pudi market nali idre. Inu yesu janra jiwa ke hani anu anta marte to yeno gatila. Adrinda sarkara janra kanno orse anta tantra anu bitto. चापुड़ लोबस अवंत चापुड़ मुटोल हाकि सूक्त कठिन क्रम मेले जगस अंतरीपुर बगलकोट रूर अंड इन मेनी प्लेस अक्रॉस नार्थ कर्नाटक इट सीम लाइक द फूड अंड सेफ्टी डिपार्टमेंट अफिशियल आर हैंड इन ग्लव कंपनी एस नो कॉन्क्रीट आक्शन हेज बीन टेकन अगेन्स्ट द कंपनी स्टील Till a court order is issued, people will continue to consume poison in their tea every day. A new Snan report. Now, the Environment Ministry has collaborated with the railways to give a new meaning to what is discovering India. Now, what is this all about? Take a look. This is a special science express biodiversity train that was flagged off yesterday by environment minister Prakash Javadekar. This special 16 bogey train took off from Delhi's Saftarjang railway station and will reach Namma Bengaluru on 10th November. The science express first took off in 2007. It covered 1 lakh kilometers in its second phase and now the third phase was inaugurated by Prakash Javadekar along with railway minister DV Sadananda Gowda and PMO Jitendra Singh This special train is an innovative exhibition on wheels that will cover 57 locations across the country in the next 194 days 
Out of those 16 coaches, eight are dedicated to showcase the myriad biodiversity spread across all the biogeographical zones of India. A variety of animals, flowers and plants are displayed through interactive exhibits. The train also has LED TV screens that display short films and videos. The remaining coaches have interesting and informative exhibits on climate change, energy and water conservation and other topical issues. This train has been set up with an aim to create awareness among the masses, particularly the youth, about the rich diversity of the country. On 10th November, this special train will reach Whitefield Station and will be stationed there till 13th November. Later, from 9th December to 13th, again, Bengalurians can board the special train. The train will be stationed at many cities across the country. A News 9 report. Now, the Thiya community in the coastal part of Karnataka is all set to bring about changes in the socio-economic status of its people. Now, it had organized a sports meet to unite the community and at the same time to have some fun. Take a look. The Thiya community may not be known to many in Karnataka, but they have a strong presence in the coastal part of our state. The community, which is generally known as Irva, comprises of brave and courageous people. Several families belonging to the community joined together for a cause. It was an attempt to unite the scattered Thiya families under one banner. The games that were organized were not only competitive, but they also provided entertainment to the participants and hundreds of people who had gathered at the venue. There was no age barrier for the participants. The game saw the young and old participate with great enthusiasm. UT Kada, the health minister of Karnataka, joined the men in tug of war. The competition that attracted the attention of the crowd was the game that saw husbands carrying their wives on their backs and running. Baratiya Tiya Samaja, Iga Artika Vagi, Hagaraja Kevagi, Tumba Hindu Lidide, Iriti Vandu, Iriti Vanda, Ata Samaja, Ata Madu Drinda, now on the Namatia or Eller, Utugudi, Hagene Prati, and Iga, Idake Kadime, Hadin and Tobago, the Stanagalu, and the Ida case participate, Ivagli Tumba Mandi, Idrali Bagavaisi, Tumba Sakara Kotidere, Igene, Inu Idan, Varsha, Varsha Madu Drinda, Tumba General Sangatan Yagate, Hagenamatia Samaja, Vundu, Hesaruasiagi. The event also saw many food mela where varieties of non-veg food was prepared by organizers that had the tinge of coastal cuisine. The leaders of the community hope that the people will be united and will make this an annual tradition in the coming years. Rajesh Puttur, News 9, Mangalore.